Hey guys, I'm Pau and here I'm going to tell you how I study language in the most effective way ever. It's using Asimil and Anki. Asimil are these little books that are super good. I'm using it for Portuguese and uh, Russian. For Finnish, for example, I bought the Teach Yourself series, but I do prefer Asimil better. And the thing about this method is that I combine the dialogues of this and the audios, of course, with um, Anki, the speech repetition software that you probably know if you're if you found this video. I'm gonna show you how I use it. So I'm gonna show you my screen on the computer and how to be better and more effective than Asimil. Yeah. <laughs> So here's my Asimil, I've already did Russian of the day and I have let Portuguese go over some Finnish, uh, sorry, some uh, Swedish, I'm reading Harry Potter right now, and some Finnish single words. So what we're gonna do here, a lesson 17. I'm gonna open it with Auda City, or the, how the hell you pronounce it. And uh, I'm gonna cut all the audios from, um, you know, from that thing. Okay, so let's begin with this one. Os vizinhos. I have no idea what it means, but looking at the lesson 17, it means the neighbors, which is similar to Spanish now that I realized, los vecinos. So I'm gonna cut only this part, create a new one without a city and save it. I'm gonna save you. Then I'm, I'm gonna go only on my desktop, and then I'm gonna create a new flashcards. Os vizinhos. Os vizinhos. Uh, and it's written like this. Um, los vecinos. I'm using Spanish for Portuguese as a vehicular language. Do you say it like that? Anyways, because it's way too, too similar not for doing it in English and I'm Spanish. So. Boom, we already have one flashcard, but actually it created two flashcards because it's gonna show in Portuguese Spanish and Spanish Portuguese the next day actually. So a good thing is like to know the shortcuts without a city out of city so that way always oh, it doesn't take time. You've seen how with Os Vecinos it didn't take almost anything of time. So next one, let's see. Mãe, esse é o Ricardo, nosso novo vizinho. Okay, so it lasted till here. And I'm gonna keep doing this. This is from the dialogue. So each line, it's one translation, and I'm gonna put it into the flashcard. So I'm gonna keep doing that till I get bored, no, till I finish the lesson. So let's keep doing it. I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna show you this one also to see how it works. And then flashcard. Mãe, este é o Ricardo, nosso novo vizinho. And I'm gonna check that it's actually nuestro nuevo vecino. Okay, and when the flashcard, I'm gonna keep doing that, of course, for the whole lesson. And when the flashcards are done, I'm just gonna press study now. For example, I don't remember this word. That's why I put it with one hyphen. I know that as duos passages. But this is, uh, fuck, I don't remember. O passaporte está aqui. Mas, mas cadê as duas passagens? Oh yeah, so I'm gonna put again. A passagem está na minha mala. So the ticket is in my um, mala, it's maleta in Spanish, which is like a bag in English. A passagem está na minha mala. This was easy. I actually omit the easy button. I always put good, hard or again, because um, it works better for me that it pops up uh, on time. Por favor, we want to buy a mala for our lua de mel. We want to buy a mala for our lua de mel. So, let's go to the cinema in front of the cinema, Carlo and Miranda. So, let's go to the cinema. Another one, uh, another example translating. That would be Sim. Você pode sentar aqui em cima da mala? Sim. Você, Você pode, pode sentar, sentar aqui, aqui em cima, cima da, da mala? mala? 
and then try to copy the accent at the same time. That's the hard part, actually. So this was easy as well. Let's put good. Hoje à tarde, ela tem um encontro. Hoje à tarde, ela tem um encontro. So you see, for me, this method is way better because in Asimil, you have you review the lessons, but you don't have any guide on when to review each line or when not to review it. So for and actually till the lesson 50, when I encountered the lesson 50, then they make you go back to the lesson first and try to translate. But if you do that from the beginning, you're actually translating with Anki every time that, uh, well, they remind you when you have to review it. So for example, lesson pop, uh, uh, one is not gonna pop up till a lot of time because for me it was easy, but it's good that after two months you review it again, right? Because you never know what words you might forget. So that way I feel like Asimil with Anki is like the best combination. The only thing is that it takes you 20 minutes to put the audience from all the Asimil exercises into Anki. But it's way better and more effective that way. So try it out and let me know how it works for you. But not the part of the conversation, but the part on the exercises, because they combine the new vocabulary from the, from the conversations with the vocabulary that you already did, which is also really good. It's a method called sentence meaning, I think it's called. So combining that with uh, sentence repetition, it's super good. Also, I'm gonna show you what I do actually. I cut the whole conversation of the exercise, okay? Um, I create a new audio and this is from lesson 17. Great. So the next thing I do is actually I grab this audio, audio, I mean, then I go to my other deck called Portuguese uh, Asimil Lesson Review. I create a new flashcard. Mãe, este é o Ricardo. And put lesson Nosso on. Novo it's a whole conversation, okay? Como but the thing is that these uh, flashcards are not bi-directional, just like the normal Asimil um, conversations that I use for translating. These flashcards, they just show lesson 17 and when I press space button, it shows the, um, it plays the audio. So what I do is, that's why you can see here that there's just seven, sometimes there's actually one or two lessons to review actually. But when I do study this, for example, it says lesson three. So I go back to the lesson three and um, it let you translate. Uh, so I translate the conversation, like covering myself the Portuguese stuff. And I uh, translate from Spanish to Portuguese. But also I go over the little grammar points like very fast, so it sticks something. And as well here, the translations from the little lines and exercises, I do them all. And sometimes I also like uh, read the curry stuff that they write here. So, uh, and then when everything's done, I did the exercises, the number three is gonna be pretty fast. Uh, actually, I'm gonna show you a little so fast how I do it. So, that would be translated as O centro, disculpe, uh, onde é o centro da cidade? Uh, você dobra a direita e depois segue em frente. É longe a pé? Não, mas uh, você pode pegar o ônibus aqui. Uh, o museu é longe. Aqui é o centro da cidade. Um, este é o ônibus para Salvador. A Avenida Castro Alves é aqui à direita. Mas a Angela e o Luí vêm a pé. And then I'm gonna feel the little um, disculpe. That would be good, yeah. A, cu, a Gua Augusta é longe. Você pode pegar o ônibus aqui à direita, é o Museu de Arte. O nome desta avenida, avenida é de em French, em French. A cidade é muito grande. Okay, so that was pretty fast. That's why. Desculpe. Then I'm gonna go over the Onde audio. É o centro da cidade. Just to review it. Você dobra aqui. If it's extremely easy, then yes, I'm gonna put like easy here, and I think that's actually what I'm gonna do. Then I would review lesson 10 and so on. And of course I would review the lesson of today and tomorrow because usually it's like a little harder for new words that you don't, you're going pretty slowly. So I review it the day that I put the audios on the flashcards, but actually also the um, days afterwards. 
So it makes sense, right? Space repetition for the audience and for the conversations that you're learning and the new vocabulary with, with Anki. Uh, sorry, with uh, Asimil. And uh, in fact, with Russian, actually, um, the thing is, I already did it this morning, but as you can see, I have vocab words. Uh, so I'm going to show you my, how my current uh, deck looks like. So uh, the new words that appear on the conversations, besides putting the whole line in Asimil and then having to translate it, I also put the single words. So it takes me a little bit more time to cut every single word that I don't understand that are new on the conversation and put it on NK. Also, notice how I don't actually write it in Cyrillic. So, for example, spats is to sleep. And in Cyrillic, well, I know how to write it, but most of the words I don't know because my only goal here with Russian and Portuguese, Portuguese I write normally, but with Russian I don't uh, write the Cyrillic stuff. What I do is I write the phonetical, how it sounds for me, because my only goal is to understand and to be understood when I speak. If in the future I want to be fluent reading as well, I'm going to work on that and it's not going to take as much time. Also, of course, I learned Cyrillic, the, the alphabet, uh, way in the beginning, but I'm still pretty slow uh, reading, although I can do it. But depending on your goal, in my case, it would take so much time to write each word in, in, in their alphabet. So I just write my own, my own phonetical stuff. Um, Eta maya sestra ana rabota yet. You see, I can read it, but still at the same time. Um, so yeah, that's about it. I think I've talked too much, but the main point is that use your asimil with Russian, cut the audio with Audacity, I don't know how to pronounce the software name, but it's free as well. And then you're gonna review over and over again. So you're always active with the language. No, you just you don't just read it and that's it. You actually translate stuff and the more you do it, the more faster you do it and the more time it takes to appear again. So super awesome method. I'm gonna actually make some videos after I finish the, both Asimil methods with Portuguese and Russian and let's see what are the results, but I'm already noticing some great changes. So subscribe, check out the, the products below with Asimil. You can buy it almost all kinds of languages, uh, courses there. So yeah, and visit my blog. I'll see you on the other side. Bye.